So as promised, here's the other half of that video. Hey, how'd that come out? That came out pretty good. I, I never finished this one because I don't like the paint job. But um, it's amazing how much you remember when you get older that you forgot. You want me to say that again? It's amazing that when you get older, you remember how much you've forgotten. And I've forgotten. I, I do have station wagons. I got a Volvo. That's the original. And I also got one that I tried to customize and scrapped it. So, um, but, you know, I was looking for Clark Griswold's station wagon with Aunt Edna on the roof <laughs> but uh the only place I could find it is online and it's a 187 scale and it's 50 bucks yeah no uh, but I did come across this and this is a uh, Nissan Maxima drift car that's a station wagon Oh, yeah, 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 but you know what I like because I already ripped it open. I Like I like look at the hood man. Oh Yeah That's pretty chroming right there, man Yeah, yeah, the, the front I don't like Oh, yeah, yeah, look at that uh, zoop. Shave that down Bandsaw here we come. Oh wait a minute. Never mind. We'll use a sander this time. Alright, so I left you hanging last night because the battery died. Now, the battery died, but the camera still looked like it was uh, recording, so I don't, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. So let's, let's hope this records tonight because I only got one more of these left to do because I already did it. This wasn't one of these. It's these two over here. Let me bring them back to you. All right, these two are both original Hot Wheels with the steel studs or metal studs. 1980, uh, I can't even read. But the milling with the Dremel tool and the drill press worked. Look at that mark. Yeah, 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 it worked. So, to show you again... And I'm replacing the axles with uh, some of these red lines. Um, so I'm going to have to show you all over again. And this is the only one I got left to show you. Because this one's totally different. That's a forward front flap pressed in. This is the beginning of the three prong press. Okay. It worked really good. Let me show you again. Okay. Now. I'm not using these. These are brand new. I broke my other ones trying to cut these off. My big ones are over here. So what we're going to do. We're gonna we're gonna recreate what we did last night. Since these axles ain't worth that, you know. We just go in here like this. Boop. Damn, I couldn't even take that out. It's so bent. Now saving these for size comparison, but I think I already have the size. Dang it. What the? What's your major malfunction, soldier? Damn, I just made it worse. Damn, and that's where I got cut the other day. I need to invest in band-aids, but, um... Alright. So now, we're putting this in the vise. We're moving over there, 
and we're gonna make this one like this one I'm gonna show you again this little milling bit I got two of them big one and little one last night I used the little one I'm gonna use the bigger one. Oh, yeah. Oh, picker. Yeah, yeah. More power. That's good. I need to put this in CLR because it's got some kind of stain or something on it. In fact, I'm going to put both of them in CLR. Try to shine them up. Now, these are not for racing because I'm using these uh, wheels from uh, Second Chance Red Lines with a uh, bearing and a wheel that clips on they don't spin very fast but let's move over to the vise I'll see you over there you know you guys have no idea what I gotta go through to provide adequate lighting at 10 o'clock at night and it's still 85 degrees outside we're changing that to the bigger one yeah we're changing it it's the one I use for wood this is the smaller one we're gonna get the bigger one uh, if I can find it this worked really good there goes the lighting damn it there goes something else I got I got too much stuff and too little room. What the? Get out of my way. Alright. This he fit over with. Where's the big one? Alright, here's, here's the bigger one. You see that? This one worked great. Okay. Where did it go? Every time I want to do something, I got to do something else first. Now I got to find this thing. It's in here somewhere. So I'll be back. I found it. Give me a second to get set back up. Back, back, set, set, whatever. I'm, just, I'm getting up, upset. So like I was, I was going to show you, here's the big one. There's the little one. I use this for some wood. That's why you see the uh, resin still on there. So now, we talked about parallels last night, but you never saw it on film. Parallels are just two even bars, exactly the same height, to help keep your work at a reasonable height, like I did with this guy so that the drill press can come down where's well, I am zoomed out where's the drill press well maybe we ought to put this in for uh, reference so that can come down always keep your tools nearby ah So we can push that down and get these done. Now this, dang it, this has already been done. You still see the lines. This one, I think I was a little crooked. Something was off, but it works. It works fine. So we're going to do the same thing, you know, and then we got these things here. If I was going to go for racing, I'd mill those off too. Now, like I said, this is an end mill. It cuts sideways and on the bottom, like straight down. Oh, this is like machine shop. Oh yeah, the old remember the machine shop days. Okay, we, we're gonna hold this down, make it parallel. That's what the bars are for, and we can move this left and right. Might want to move it up a little bit. But we, uh, probably want to move this down, but we want we want the best seat in the house, don't we? Yeah, so we're gonna go right here. So I 
Now, this bump is what we want to get off. That two huge, I mean, they're huge compared to nowadays. I mean, now they're plastic. But we're going to we're going to mill it off. And the lights in my way. Every time I want to do something, I got to do something else. So, we're going to see yeah, that that looks pretty damn good maybe we gotta go in a little bit hold down loosen it move it forward a teeny bit let's see now oh oh yeah yeah this is this damn it too much all right well let's go with that now you ready ow Hang on. All right, so we are there. My hands in front of the light. Uh, what else can I do? Well, you can still see that. Let's get down a little bit. I want to. I want to give you a good show. I love watching metal cut metal, but my damn, here's my light. Well, wondering what the chattering is is because the shank is too far down and this is not really made what the hell happened to my camera this is not really strong enough for milling operations so that's why we only do little teeny things let's see what we got Got a teeny bit left. Teeny bit left. Let's get my parallels. We're gonna snug this up again. We're gonna go a teeny bit more. pretty good you want to see the next one we're just going to do the same thing so we'll cut it short on here well maybe not because i love doing this this is my first time i mean i love watching videos my first time doing it here at home but i love watching videos of everybody else doing it on big machines man and metal chips fly oh, oh a bomb 79 oh yeah 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 <laughs>
I gotta shorten the shank length as much as possible yeah yeah way up there way up there like I said I've never done this at home this is my first time but I'm um, having fun <laughs> I think we're there, man. I think we're there. Oh. Yep, I still see the line. The axle is going to go right there. This back one. That might be uh, a little too deep. I took the line out. I can still see the line. Maybe, uh, no, I'm going to leave it alone. I, we're there. That's how you do that. Now they got to go into uh, CLR. Where's my other one? Oh, 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 oh. Here, here they are. So. Really? You had to drop it, Bill. Jesus. Where'd it go? So they're going to go into the CLR, you know, for like 10 minutes. CLR, calcium, lime, and rust. And then we're going to wash it with a toothbrush. And then uh, clean it all up. Yeah, I went a little too deep on this guy. But the axles are still in the same spot. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be cool. So that's what I wanted, was wanting to finish yesterday. And the battery died. But the camera looked like it was recording, so I don't know. All right, let's get out of here. Back it up. Oi. Dang it. Yeah, so that was fun, man. End milling. On a drill press. Oh, that was... Ah. Metal cutting metal. Yeah, I tell you what. That's some of my favorite channels to watch, man. All right, we're going to clean these up and get the, the wheels and the axles done from Second Chance Redline and uh, clean these up and we'll get those uh, other Hot Wheels done. You know, the ones I keep uh, talking about, we're going to finish those up. All right. We will give you an update on this project. All these Corvettes. All these Corvettes. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, we got the Candy. Candy Series. We got the Candy Red. Candy Ruby. Uh, blueberry. The Green. We've got... Oh, oh. The next one's going to be Chrome. Remember I said that white Corvette? Uh, here's 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 what happened with that white Corvette no wormwood a little bit of pitting there but we are going to zinc nickel and then chrome this puppy and leave it chrome we're going to leave it chrome dropped it again I think I think uh, 1030 is a little late to be filming but yeah, here's here's the uh, the white Corvette that always gave me problems. So, and and I did not drill through. See, <coughs> all right. Let me get this, and we're gonna we're gonna leave you with that. Thanks for watching, and like I promised, I'd I'd show you the rest of it, and I did. All right. That's how you do. Oh. That's how you. That's how you keep dropping stuff, I guess. All right, we got these two up here. 
we're done. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Good night.